Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood ergonomist Gary here to talk a little bit about some clever work or school from home hacks that I've collected from around the internet. None of these hacks are 100% ergonomically perfect, but on a temporary basis, they do a pretty good job of helping you get in a more neutral posture, whether you're seated or standing. Uh, we've got the old standby of using boxes or books underneath the laptop and the keyboard tray and the mouse. Uh, we'd like that uh, laptop to be raised up a little closer to eye height, and we'd like that mouse to be on the same level as the keyboard tray. We've also seen folks use stools or chairs on top of desks to help create that standing workstation. And here we've got a clever use of a laundry basket to help create a standing workstation. Uh, over on the right hand side, we've got a laptop riser to help raise the uh, height of that laptop screen a little closer to eye height built out of Legos. So you, good use for those Legos rather than stepping on them all the time. Uh, speaking of storing your Legos pr appropriately, uh, we could be using some storage tubs on top of the kitchen counter to help create a, a standing workstation. Or maybe you've got some old um, milk crates laying around that you had in college. Those could be used as a standing workstation as well. And you'll note that on this particular one, they've also employed the use of a chair on top of the desk to help raise the height of that monitor up. Uh, Pepsi has come out with their version of a standing workstation. And not to be outdone, Coca-Cola has come out with their version as well. Anytime you know, of course, that you've got uh, beverages, you need to talk about the chips. So here's a, a clever use of some Pringles cans as a standing workstation as well. Uh, here is, again, we're using stuff that we get around the house. So maybe you've got a liquor cabinet, probably a little bit more appropriate for the adults than the kids, but uh, a good temporary solution nonetheless. And speaking of uh, stuff that you may have laying around the house, who doesn't have that grand piano just sitting there uh, doing nothing? Maybe it could be used as a standing workstation as well. Or maybe you've got some saw horses out in the garage collecting sawdust. Bring those into the house uh, and use those as a standing workstation too. Very creative, very um, easy to, to implement. And uh, also, you may not be using your ironing board much these days, so you could use that as a standing workstation as well. Just make sure that if you're going to use it on your bed, uh, that you put something stable underneath the legs to help keep it from rocking and, and provide a little bit more stability as you're using it as a standing workstation. Again, looking at those milk crates, here we are just using the milk crates as a standing workstation in themselves. Uh, very portable, take it around the house very easily, easily rotated if you need to use a, a different background for a video conferencing call or something like that. And again, maybe you've got a dresser uh, at your house that's, that's a little bit taller. You could use that as a standing workstation as well. I like the use of the drawer as the keyboard tray too, very creative. Maybe you've got a ladder and you need to have a standing video call. Uh, ladders are great, they're fairly portable and you can easily rotate them around the room to give yourself a, big, a different background. Maybe you need some fresh air, uh, your, your uh, trash can can be used as a standing workstation on a temporary basis. Or maybe you need some different views out of your office window. Uh, you could use the passenger side of your car and a uh, piece of plywood to go park near a, a nice lake somewhere, uh, crack the windows to get a little bit of fresh air, pad the edges or sand the edges of that uh, plywood to help make it a little bit more comfortable for you as well. Here's a clever use of a standing slide out cutting board that could be used for students as a standing workstation. And speaking of students, we've got a lot of good things going on. In this picture, we've got a uh, tub being used as a footrest. We've got the, some padding on the, the hard wooden chair. We've got the laptop uh, being raised up closer to eye height through the use of some books underneath it. And my favorite of all, we've got a board game being used as a, uh, a um, keyboard tray that sits on the lap. Plenty of room for the keyboard as well as the mouse on that old game board. Maybe you've got a, uh, an old high chair sitting around the house. That could be used for your students as well to help create a standing workstation, also portable. And it's nice to see the celebrities getting into the ergonomics game as well. Here's a shot of Lin-Manuel Miranda uh, using some books underneath his laptop to help raise that screen up before he gets on social media for the day. 
so that's it for some of the clever hacks, hacks we've seen around the internet. Uh, don't be the guy that uses all the toilet paper as your standing workstation. But other than that, remember to work smarter, not harder, and stay safe.